All right, how's it going? So I want to kind of give a quick little video about how you can set up absolute imports in Create React App. I think there's different ways you can do it in Next, or it might be built into Next.js, but I just didn't know this, so I wanted to make a video on it and just kind of explain what I've learned. And this has been around for a while, so I'm not sure why it took me so long to learn this. But basically, if you have a component here that, like, a page that loads in a hello component, right now that hello component is in the base directory here. So if I go to the application, you'll see that it says hello world down here. And uh, in fact, let me delete some of this stuff so we can actually see it probably hidden. All right, there we go. Hello world shows up at the top. Um, now the, the issue with having these relative paths, so when we say relative, like it means that we have like a bunch of like dot slashes in it and it can become very hard to like understand like where stuff is coming from. And when you end up like refactoring some code, like stuff can kind of get messy because like you have to keep on going back in your head, like figuring out what level it is. So for an example, let's say we move this hello component to a components folder. I mean, luckily for us, our VS code is smart enough to just go ahead and edit it. But I've been in many situations where you move stuff and VS code just doesn't update it or you forget to update it. So then you have like a bunch of like dot dot slashes everywhere. All right, so let me kind of show you my gripe with the relative imports. If you go into the hello world thing, and let's say this thing needs access to get users, which is a function I have declared inside of services. Um, let's just pretend like we're calling it get users. And let me go ahead and make sure I have that open so my auto import works. Notice that you have to like do these dot dot slashes. And as your components get more nested and nested and nested, maybe you're following like a features approach to your project, you end up having like all these weird relative dot slashes and it's very hard to like keep it in your head. So for create react, react app, if you actually go to this absolutes imports documentation, they say you can create a jsconfig.json. And I'm going to do that real quick. So jsconfig.json, paste that in. And what this allows you to do is now you can access different things just by the absolute path of your project. So in this case, our absolute pass, path here would be um, depending on the base URL. So in this case, it's source. So we just need to go ahead and just do that. I do have to restart my create React app application so it can kind of reload that file and everything works. But now notice I don't have to worry about all those dot slashes and it's just easier to understand like where things are coming from. Same thing here, I don't need to do a dot slash components. I could just load it directly in. And this is beneficial again, if you're moving stuff around, you don't have to worry about it, right? Because like right now I can literally move this hello world component wherever I want. I'll like move it here. And it's still gonna access that same exact service that was found inside of this folder. Now it is breaking because I need to save the app file, but I hope that kind of clarifies some things. And there's instances where you don't want to use this absolute path. Like let's say you're working on, uh, let's just go here, I'll say like a, a header component. And inside the header component, you you know, some approach might be you have an index.js and then you have a new file called like header.js. Or JSX. I don't know why I didn't name these JSXs. Let me do that. So inside the header JSX, you know, this could be like a header. It says header. header. Uh, actually, let me do export header from header because this was a named export from this file. So the idea now is that your other components would not load in this header component. Instead, you load in header slash index.js. But this is using relative paths because you want to be able to move stuff around inside of this subcomponent. And this thing shouldn't have to know about your project structure. It's like a standalone isolated component. And you don't need this thing to be coupled to like where it's importing stuff. Especially if you do stuff like this and you have like a services here and then you're doing like some other, you know, my service .js export const my service. Bear with me. I didn't really have this stuff prepared to actually type about it, but let me just go ahead and say my service import that. So in this example, it's cool that this thing has a relative path because like you want to be able to refactor and move around your files for your internal uh, component. And anything that's not inside of this, like you don't want this thing ex accessing things that are outside potentially. Um, hopefully I explained that. I don't know if I did too well, but yeah, that's how you can set up absolute paths with Create React App. Now, if you're using Next or something else, there might be a different approach. But for the most part, if you're using like TypeScript, you use a tsconfig.json. JavaScript is jsconfig.json. And you might have seen some projects where you can actually do like, if they're doing like this, that's the same thing. 
um, where they do the add symbol and then the name of the component. The only difference is that they probably have like a paths defined here. Um, so they might do something like slash components slash star points to, I don't know if this is the perfect syntax for it, but I think it's like source slash components slash star or something. I don't really know. You have to go look that up. But if you've ever seen this type of approach where, you know, on inside your components, they're doing something like this or they're doing something like that. That means they probably have a custom path set up in their JS config or TS config, which is allowing them to do this. Anyway, hope that uh, was useful and have a good day and happy coding.